experimental entity involving negative and positive charges composed of protons and electrons, or possibly positrons and electrons, seen in the attractions and repulsions of bodies electrified by friction and in phenomena such as lightning or the aurora borealis. Phew! Whether you understand electricity or not, you need to know the kind of hazards it can present in the workplace. Do you recognize some of the most common electrical hazards? Electricity. In many ways, it powers our world, and it helps power your work site. But because we can't see it, too often we take electricity for granted. If you work with electrical tools or equipment, you need to treat electricity with respect. The three main hazards of electricity are electrical shock, fire, and explosion, when electricity causes sparks in an explosive atmosphere. To minimize these hazards, your company may have an electrical safety program in your overall safety policy. Take time to review and understand it. And even if your employer doesn't have a written program, be aware of the most common electrical hazards and know what to do if you recognize one. But sometimes being well informed and following your employer's electrical safety program isn't enough. Equipment and cords do eventually wear out. Outside contractors may not follow your company's policies. Unforeseen hazards may be present, or you may get in a hurry and skip some of your normal safety procedures. After training and education, being alert is your best protection against electrical hazards. When you work with electricity, think about what you're doing, and be on the lookout for unsafe work practices around you. For instance, Pat is doing his job as usual, but somewhere around him, there's an electrical hazard. Do you see it? Yeah, you know this cover dropping off the outlet, but you know what happened to that? I it off. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Good thing. If you notice that Pat's working around electricity that's not properly guarded, you've found the hazard. Almost any electrical conductor becomes hazardous if the metallic surface is exposed. There are lots of different situations where this could happen. Cord insulation gets worn through or cut. Guards are removed and not replaced or become damaged with use. Unguarded electricity can shock you, cause burns, or start fires. Even household current is strong enough to cause electrocution. One of the things you can do to prevent being burned or shocked by electricity is to inspect electrical equipment regularly. With some equipment, this means inspecting every time you use it. With other equipment, your company may have maintenance and inspection schedules. Follow your company's procedures for inspecting equipment and reporting any defects or malfunctions. There's an electrical hazard here. The protective panel is in place and was closed, so that's not the problem. What's wrong with this picture? Unlabeled electrical equipment is another common electrical hazard. How can that hurt you? It depends. During an emergency like a fire, trained employees or firefighters need to recognize specific switches quickly to turn off the power. Many electrical fires are extinguished just by turning off the power. In most cases, maintenance workers need to be able to de-energize the equipment they're working on. If they turn off the wrong power source, they may be in a dangerous situation during equipment repair. You may not be responsible for identifying electrical equipment, but if you see circuits or other equipment that isn't labeled, report it to your supervisor so it can be corrected. It may not seem like there are any electrical hazards in Pat's work area, but take a closer look. Extension cords are among the most misused electrical equipment around. They are useful and appropriate in many situations, but there are also lots of situations where extension cords shouldn't be used. The cord at Pat's work area isn't about to shock or burn him yet, but it is creating other hazards. Extension cords shouldn't be used as a substitute for permanent wiring. They shouldn't run through doorways, windows, or other openings. The insulating cover can get worn, torn, or cut, exposing live wires, and it can create a trip hazard. Damaged extension cords shock people and cause burns, fires, and explosions each year. They may not look like big power sources, but it doesn't take much electricity to cause serious injury. 
what's wrong with this picture? She's using the tool correctly. Wait a minute. That's not how you unplug a cord. Pulling on the cord instead of pulling the plug cap itself can damage the connection. When you pull the cord out of the wall, the uh -huh. I pull from the hard plastic cord. Oh, okay. The cord. Out of when you unplug, lift the plug cap instead of the cord. Carefully inspect the connections before using cords. All terminations and connections should be protected from stress and pull, so pick up and hold tools by the handle not the cord. These have been just a few of the more common electrical hazards. If you recognize one of them, report it according to your company's procedures. And remember, leave the electrical repair or maintenance work to trained, qualified personnel. Keep your eyes open. Think about the electricity being used around you. Look for hazards before they cause trouble. And treat electricity with respect. Recognizing and preventing electrical hazards today could save your life or a co-worker's life tomorrow.